This section's awfully stubby. Information from Nightmare of the Daleks needs to be added. The doctor, wanting to meet Cicero, took Nyssa and Tegan to 63 BC Cumi where they dressed in togas and pretended to be the doctor's sisters, Claudia and Claudia. Whilst there, Nyssa came to believe that the doctor was still struggling to come to terms with Adric's death, having originally interpreted his silence on the matter as him being cold-hearted. She and her companions were put through a series of tests by Tartarus, in the course of which she lured a bull into a pit, and she later invited Mark to join them in the TARDIS, an offer that he accepted. Audio, Tartarus. Nyssa visited Mark in his bedroom and was concerned by how difficult he found it to adjust to being a freedman. After the TARDIS landed on Proxima in the 30th century, she and Tegan found themselves in a separate time zone to the Doctor and Mark due to interstitial time, but were able to help their companions and Christopher Jennings defeat Kalu. Audio. Interstitial. In 19th century Ireland, the spay wife took control of Nyssa's mind in an attempt to gain control of the TARDIS. To free her from the spay wife's control, the doctor attempted to remind her of Traken and Mark reminded her of their previous adventures together, but it was Tegan telling her how she would be affected by the loss of her best friend that restored her. She apologized to Tegan for her actions, but she told her that she understood due to her own experience with the Mara. Audio. Feast of Fear. Nyssa, the Doctor, Tegan and Mark found themselves drafted into the race on Samotus, during which Nyssa ran alongside Morris, whom she assisted and befriended. When Mark became partially cyber-converted, Nyssa and Morris put an end to the race by tying up the commentator and disabling the course's fail-safes, forcing the system to shut everything down. Audio. Warzone. Nyssa cared for Mark in the TARDIS and was, with the Doctor, able to hack the mainframe and reverse all mental programming restoring each Cyberman's memories and restoring Mark's. Afterwards, the upset doctor left his companions on Kalana with a great deal of money, an action that Nyssa could not understand as she could not see how it helped anybody. Audio, conversion. Unlike Tegan, Nyssa enjoyed the tranquility of Kalana and was not concerned about the planet's relaxing effects. She, Tegan and Mark worked with Stepa Westma Cotter Thatch Slothene to stop Bella and Grumma, after which the doctor returned for them telling them that they needed to talk. Nyssa was somewhat upset, believing that the three of them could have been happy living on Kalana. Audio. Madquake. The doctor attempted to take Nyssa, Tegan and Mark to Gallifrey to have a talk mediated by a Time Lord, but they instead arrived at Welkin Sanatorium on Sorisia where they saw an apparition of Adric. Once the ghostly phenomena was ended, Nyssa reminded the doctor that they still needed to talk but, instead of going to Gallifrey, he apologized to the three of them for avoiding them and his emotions concerning Adric's death and Mark's conversion. Audio, The Lost Resort The TARDIS arrived on RMS Oceanic, aboard which Nyssa found that she suffered from seasickness and explained that there were no seas on Traken. She was, however, cured when the doctor gave her tablets of his own making, and she was able to assist in ensuring that Nellie Bly completed her journey. Audio, The Perils of Nellie Bly 